Thank you, Carl. This is inspiring. Our second hero needs no introduction. Her courage and steadfastness is well known. Who else would take on Goldman Sachs, Peabody Coal, Pacific International at the same time and win? Thank you. Karina, Karina is a unique kind of hero because she's essentially an organizer whose passion for justice is contagious. Under her leadership and resources, the organization cut its teeth on grassroots organizing and helped build one of the largest environmental movements in our region's history. Resources members grew from 4,000 to 22,000 under Karina's tenure. Trina gave 20 years of her life to resources, starting as a classroom educator, then program director, culminating as executive director, which she served uh, for the past six years. As someone who's temporarily stepped into her shoes, I can personally testify to the organizational culture that she's created. A focus on strategic planning, a commitment to staff development, an efficient financial operation, and an emphasis on diversity and inclusion. It's safe to say that Karina has set a standard of best practices for all aspects of this organization. During her term as executive director, she also built partnerships with tribal leaders, labor leaders, elected officials, businesses, other nonprofits, foundations, philanthropists, and many of you. She also collaborated with state and national environmental organizations. And lastly, the staff heroes that I mentioned earlier are a tribute to Karina, who guided, mentored, empowered, and inspired them. The fact that Resources is a foundational institution in the region's environmental movement is a tribute to Karina's leadership. I simply don't have enough superlatives to describe how Karina has empowered the resources community. So please, help me welcome our very own heroic educator, advocate, and community leader, Karina Lowe. Gracias. 
go that route either. In fact, when I was thinking about what this award means to me and how it feels to receive it, I did a little bit of personalized exploration and I decided to talk about something that's personal to me, and that is women and leadership and what it's like to be me in, in, in this in this world. And I, like I said, it makes me a little uncomfortable and I've been trying to figure out why. Why does public praise and recognition make me feel strange? And I think it's a product of growing up as a young girl and a young woman and being told that a good girl is toned down, you fit in, you keep a lid on it. And I didn't do that very well. <laughs> yeah. The person I was wasn't necessarily toned down. So in order to fit this expectation, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I might imitate someone who was non-threatening and easy to be around. But despite my best efforts, I was always too big, too loud, too opinionated, too forceful, too direct. And I heard that message loud and clear, and I bet I'm not alone. I bet there are a lot of women in this room who got that message, directly or indirectly. You heard the same things I heard. You heard. You heard that a woman who speaks her mind is defiant. You heard that a lady who knows what she wants is bossy. And you heard that a girl who's full of pride and courage is too big for her bridges. I need my water. <laughs> Each of you to do the same for the woman that you know. 
Let them know that they are exactly perfect because they're opinionated and strong and powerful and willful. Encouraging women to lead with pride is exactly what this community and this, frankly, this world is, needs right now. We need women leading with pride. <laughs> and finally, she helped me recognize that being self-deprecating was just silencing my voice. And she wanted to hear my voice, which was felt so good, and every woman deserves to feel that. So while I can't take sole credit for all of the work that Resources has done in my tenure, I certainly cannot take sole credit for those things that Dwayne um, attributed to me. But I can let myself be proud of the leader that I'm developing into. And I can be thankful for the supportive environment that Resources provided for for me to develop as that leader. So the person who is uncomfortable with praise and still trying to find that confidence and trying to be comfortable with confidence, the award is hard for me to accept. But that woman I want to be, that leader I'm developing into, that woman who wants to be a role model for other women in this community, that person, she proudly says, thank you for noticing. Thank you. <laughs>